right now I am taking delivery of the brand new 2024 Corvette E-Rig and it is in this trailer right behind me coming straight from Monterey and there's nothing there. Ah! Got, Got him! <laughs> no, it's up top. God, this looks good. That's one sexy looking car. And this is in the same color that I would do it to. The Sea Wolf Gray, you guys will see it up here in a second. It's kind of like Chevrolet's take on a Naruto Gray, but it's got a little more blue in the coloring, which I love. You guys will see it in the sun in just one second. And if you know me, you know we gotta do something fun with this car. So the very first thing I'm doing. You guys, hear me out. Twin turbo E-Ray. I wonder what it'd do in the quarter mile. I wonder if it'd be faster with the front E all wheel drive system or it'd be a little slower because it's heavier. TBD. I don't know why I'm ducking so much. I'm so short I fit fine. <laughs> why does that sound different? Or you just don't remember what they sound like stock. Yeah, I don't remember what it sounds like stock. All right, I, I gotta get down from here. an adult jungle gym, I love it. This is a press car. They're giving this to me for a couple of days to enjoy and have fun with it. I don't know how many Corvettes I can afford to buy. But by the time you guys see this episode, I'll have sold the Z06, maybe. God, that looks good. I think this has to be one of my favorite car colors. Wow. I'm literally grinning cheek to cheek right now. This is my spec, this is what I would do. I think they knew it too, they knew it and they sent it. <laughs> when it's in the sun, there's so it many shivers. like gold metallic flakes in this. Look at it, look at this. Look at that shiver, that gold flake. Man, look at that carbon fiber. So beautifully stocked, just waiting for some modifications. Thanks. Thank you so much, Nathan. No problem. <laughs> Seat belts for safety. With only 785 miles on the car, less than 1,000 miles. I want to see this car spin like a top. This time with me driving it. <laughs> it's like a video game. Look at this car's race. Go see it go. <laughs> you can't get over that like, just electric hyperdrive thing. <gasps> that sounds so cool. We've got this whole parking lot to ourselves right now. I have to give a huge thank you to Motorcars LA for giving us a safe, roped off space in order to do some hood rat shit with the E-Ray. I wasn't the one who said that, Chevy engineers said that. We have the Chevy team here with us today, as well as one of the engineers, Cody, who's gonna be helping us to dial in the car a little bit, making sure everything goes smoothly. What's your official title? I'm a chassis controls integration engineer. Perfect man for the job. You wanna hop in or? What yeah, you no, I absolutely would love to hop in. All right, so it's pretty Traction similar. control off, pin the wheel and step on it. Pretty, actually that is the five second speech. So effectively you're in track. So yeah, turn. I always control drive in system. track mode. Track mode. <laughs> it's the best mode to be in for this car. When you go into this mode, you're unlocking an all wheel drive balance change it's a more playful balance mm -hmm. so in this system off mode it's gonna allow you to have some fun but the all-wheel drive is going to still be engaging with you to allow you from spinning out and maintain that drift mm -hmm. so it goes a little bit away from added stability all to time to full-time party my favorite words <laughs> so yeah in a nutshell really this car just it needs just commitment give it angle yeah. double paddle drop full throttle <laughs> okay. and the best thing to do is to keep throttle in because the way the all-wheel drive system works is all communicating via software the more pedal you give the more authority the all-wheel drive gets just bang it off Let the it red rip. line all right <laughs> okay <laughs> This must be working right now. <laughs> All right, Cody, what do you think? That was awesome. Great first try. <laughs> so I think you nailed it. Pretty Thank much you. just have fun out there and maybe try a sweet 360 entry, but really yeah, you're yeah, a natural. You got it. I want to spin even faster, but I can't see from the outside if it looks like I'm spinning really fast already. Were you full throttle? Yeah. Okay. Well, a little bit less because it was pinning the limiter. Pin it. Yeah. Wait, really? Pin the, pin the freaking limiter. Are you serious? Pin the limiter. Okay. 
Well, it's going to pull timing out of it anyways if I just sit right before. But it'll have, yeah, and it'll have front torque. Oh, because it's based, the front uh, electric motor is right. based on input. So if I right. come off a little bit. It's based on the bit. total torque. So when you pull out, there's less torque to split. Oh, and you were warning me about that earlier. But I was like, I don't want to pin the limiter. Let me just like right. come right so, before where it redlines. But yeah, you can. It. Yeah, we tuned this exactly for that reason. We wanted people to do the same maneuver we did at New York. So to hold true to our own, we're letting people go right to that limiter. And we have really good engine control on the limiter. So they're preserving the engine and they're letting you have fun while you're doing it. Okay. Tuck it in and go full throttle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting four years for someone to do a cyclone on this, and I'm excited that you get to do it. So we're doing this on PS4 tires, which is probably the worst tire to try to break traction in the water with. <laughs> Cup 2s might have been a little bit better to do, but uh, we're still making it happen. So you drifted it all the way down to the min SOC, which is awesome. You were able to deplete the entire battery. <laughs> I'll take that as a win. Well, I didn't think I'd be doing this today. There's mud on the rear view camera. There's mud all over the inside of this car. There's dirt all over your face too, so. <laughs> it's because I'm having so much fun. The interior's all covered in dirt. Yeah, good luck on that one. We've been here for so long, just ripping donuts nonstop with this This is car. like the old school days, where you just like. Find a church parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that, but I can say from experience, the first time I ever did a burnout, it was in a church parking lot. So. I want to see you do a burnout burnout. Yeah, the, these are the wrong tires for that. It's, these tires are so good, even with the water on the ground. Like These tires are meant to drive on water. Yeah, <laughs> literally. They're meant to get grip on water. So at the Rockefeller, we went from full state of charge down to the buffer and it was 20 spins. She might have beat me though. 20. That was sick. That would have gone forever. Holy crap, that's how it's done. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was like never lift. So the front tires weren't spinning with it. So it kind of a cyclone, kind of not. But it was definitely spinning on a freaking dime. Oh my God, you guys. Look at this car. She's filthy. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just working my way to be a development driver. I have had the opportunity of just having the E-Ray for the past week now. I've been driving her around for quite some time and God, how many Corvettes am I gonna buy? This is terrible. I don't know if I can do it. I wanna do it, but either way, if you guys want the technical, I've done a video with this car already, going through all the specs, showing you guys stealth shuttle mode, everything cool about it, talking about the horsepower numbers. This is more a fun video, getting to actually rip the car. It's so cool to have the torque in the front wheels to just help pull out of those 
corners when you're exiting. But let me show you stealth mode just one more time to just reiterate how cool this is. I don't upset the neighbors, not like they care anyways when I leave in the morning. And I was at dinner the other night and I drove this car and it was really late and I just like, I felt so cool leaving the parking lot silent and then when I stepped on it, it was just like really loud and it was just like that too. So let me show you guys this. We're going to stealth mode, baby. Fire me up. Oops, I missed. <laughs> and it's on. It's just so quiet. I could really just keep driving in electric mode. Listen, watch this. right now i am in love with this spec i feel like this stealth mode is a game changer i love my loud cars but i feel bad when i gotta fire them at like midnight or four o'clock in the morning i wake up the neighborhood having the stealth mode and being able just to pull out silently and then step on it and then it kicks into ice mode i love it the only thing i would change would be engine and turbos but thank you guys so much for watching e crew we out here with love bye <laughs>